what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at the dreaded safe mode boot loop or the windows boot loop which is something that when you think you've got problems with your computers you enter the safe mode via the ms config and then you're stuck in this dreaded boot loop where you can't get out of safe mode and you're trying to boot up and all you're going to get is uh, either freezing on the screen or uh, spontaneous reboots uh, straight into safe mode again. So let's go into um, system config here and show you what's happening. So we're going to set up a, a safe mode from the system configuration, put safe boot in, and this will boot us straight into safe mode. The problem with this is if you've got problems with your computers and it won't boot, then it's going to keep booting into safe mode every time you boot up. So let's restart our system. It will start to boot up and then you will get this uh, stuck on this screen or it will go black and you'll get a black screen or you may get a, a, a spontaneous reboot where it will just reboot itself and continue. So to fix this you're going to need a Windows 10 disk or a Windows 10 flash drive. Boot up to that device, restart the system and this will boot into uh, the Windows disk where we can then make some fixes to get this back to the desktop. So what we're going to do is boot up to this uh, disk here or USB flash drive and then you'll get to this point here, Windows Setup. Click Next and then you want to go to where it says Repair Your Computer. Click on that. Then we want to go into uh, Choose an Option which is Troubleshoot here. Click Troubleshoot and then we're going to go into Command Prompt. Click Command Prompt and we're just going to remove this Safe, safe Boot or Safe Mode. So here you can see we're in uh, drive X, which is not our drive. So I'm going to put D code on because this is normally the drive letter. Then type DIR and see if we can detect Windows. As you can see, we've detected our Windows and that's good. So now we're in the right drive. You just keep changing that letter until you find your Windows directory. Now from here, we're going to be typing in here BCD edit. And this will show us what our boot option is. And as you can see, I've highlighted them in yellow. It says safe boot and we need to remove this. Now this is pretty straightforward, so all we need to do is put in our command to remove this. Now you could have safe boot with networking or, or safe mode with command prompt. So I'm going to go bcd edit space forward slash delete value braces default braces and then safe boot. And what that's going to do is remove this and put it back to a standard boot uh, mode. So we're going to push enter here and you can see the operation has completed successfully. Type exit, and then this will exit us out of this. Now we can continue to Windows 10. Now it should boot up to Windows 10. Now if you have got boot issues and it won't boot to the desktop, then you've still got some sort of issue with your boot up and you will need to fix those. And you could do startup repair and all those other types. But that's how you can basically remove the dreaded safe mode boot loop uh, by removing the safe mode option once you've selected it via the system configuration. So I hope this one helps you out guys, it's pretty easy to do uh, once you know how, but it can be a right pain uh, once you get uh, into this mode and you can't get out. Now the better way to do it is hold the shift key down when you reboot from the desktop and that will give you the option to uh, boot into safe mode. Anyway. I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Got any video requests or problems with your computers, head over to the forums. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. So thanks again for you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.